is January 30th, and it is a Thursday, and I am at Blue Mountain Shelter. So last night, about, I think it was like 10 after 7, I'm sitting in the shelter, and all of a sudden I hear like thudding, like boom, 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 and really, really like heavy breathing. And I was just like, at first I was like, what in the world is that? I almost thought it was a bear at first, but then I could hear that. You know that sound of the trekking pole? Ting, ting. And I was like, oh, dang, here comes a hiker. So this guy, he just storms in. I mean, storms in. And I'm not trying to be critical or nothing, you know. But the dude easily weighed like 300 pounds. He, and here's the weird thing. He had on this fur pelt over him. And this like little um, Scottish hat. And I mean gray big gray beard and hair and i was just like oh wow look at this guy and so he unloaded his pack and he had um a little foam pad and just like a blanket a felt blanket and then i guess he uses that felt that he wears while he hikes and um and i'm like oh man look at this character right and then he goes he's like do you have any cigarettes? I really need a cigarette. I'll trade with you or anything. And I'm like, I'm like, no, man, I don't smoke cigarettes. And he's like, and you could tell he's just like, oh, and I was like, okay, that's it. I could tell this guy. And so I went ahead and packed up my stuff and put my tent. That's why you saw me put my tent up this morning. And um, I'm glad I did because, man, I could hear that guy snoring from way over here where i was in the shelters way back there so man i'm glad i i packed up and got out of there but anyways that guy just left and so i'll probably run into him from time to time which eh. anyways i'm not trying to be snobby i'm just like i don't know i just i don't know man i just don't know what to say about that <laughs> Anyways, I am planning on hiking like 14 miles to Addis Gap. I may end up going farther, but that's my plan so far. So I am going to get on trail and hike northbound, and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I just went up Rocky Mountain and now I'm going down it. The truth is, um, it's not really any more rocky than any other mountains. Um, matter of fact, it's kind of less rocky than a lot of mountains. But man, there are some nice views on the top of it. So it's the first climb when you get to Unicoi Gap, Rocky Mountain's your first climb. And it's, it's kind of a, ki a butt kicker for sure. Um, man, I had to stop like five times going up it. And then a trail runner went by me and he was like, 
you know, doing what trail runners do, kind of like fast hiking up and then running the flats. And then I saw him come back down. He was running pretty fast. Yeah, so after this, so now I go down to Indian Grave Gap. And then after that, I'll climb up to Cheese Factory. And there is no Cheese Factory there anymore. Um, and then I, and then you just keep, and then you get to, um, man, I can't remember the gap right before, uh, Trey Mountain, but anyways, and then you just climb up Trey, Trey Mountain. So once I get to Indian Grave Gap, it's pretty much just climbing from there on. Um, yeah. And when I get to Trey Mountain Shelter, I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I made it to the old site of the cheese factory that's not here no more. So I guess there was a cheese factory somewhere around here. Probably back over there. But anyways, this spot, if you can as you can see, there's lots of camping. Um there's a lot of camping all in between those roadies and lots of fire pits. There's fire pit, more camping. I've camped here once. I actually camped back in there um, cause back in the roadies cause it was really windy and um, it kind of broke the wind down there. Um, I actually camped there when I was doing my shake shakedown hike for my 2016 through hike. I did the Georgia section as a shakedown hike. But um, so there's the water, followed the blue blaze to the water. And then, like I said, there's lots of camping back in there. And so, yeah, if you don't, if you don't think you're gonna make it to Trey Mountain Shelter, this is a good spot to stop, definitely. There is a lot of camping here, but if the wind it's coming from that direction. Man, it gets windy here, but like I said, you can go back in the roadies and it'll break the wind up for sure. All right, well, I am climbing up from here and I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all, so I made it to Trey Mountain Shelter as you can see behind me, and um, I would say even if you're not staying here and you're um, hiking through here, um, it's like point one off the trail, just come down the trail like halfway and there's a really beautiful view and plus it's a good water source down there, it's not too far um, and this is kind of a spot where you're going to have to get water. But you can see that shelter is really, really, really nice. Um, I've never stayed here before. So, I don't know. I bet that one guy, um, Jeremiah Johnson, that guy I was camped with, is going to stay here. I guarantee you. Man, and the thing, though, is there's litter everywhere. I don't Someone just left their trash around. And check this out. I'll show you the shelter. Okay, so see back here, you have a little little seats with a roof to protect you from the rain. You can fit a bunch of people in there. And you have the same thing back here. And the privy is right there. And check this out. Full beer, man. Full Budweiser. Huge Budweiser, too. Man, I wish it was soda. Leave that for someone else. Um, and then... Hmm, saw this tank. Yeah, it's almost empty. Someone didn't want to pack it back out. Which is ridiculous. Remember, if you pack it in, pack it out. So... I guess I'm going to go get some water real quick. And, oh yeah, I'm going to see if there's cell reception. Try to get a shuttle for tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to keep on hiking and I will get back with y'all. All right. y'all this is my home for the night and this is sassafras gap and i'll explain why i stopped here instead of Addis gap so there's a little um fire ring right there and a few flat spots right here you can tell where it, when it rains that's where the water goes right there i put my tent right there um, it's a pretty flat spot too. And then <clears throat> over, you see that sign right there. So water, you go down that, it's point, I would say it's almost point two, but not quite. But it's downhill, goes to a um, spring. The water comes right out from under the tree. And then... See that trail right there? There's more camping, like, back in here. There's probably, like, enough for four tents. So, um, this is Sassafras Gap, not Addis Gap. Addis Gap is north, 0.8, that's all. So, um, the reason I stopped early 
Well, there's a couple reasons. First reason was I've been kind of feeling my knee. Um, I felt it this morning a little bit. And then and then I, it kind of went away, but for the last probably five miles, I felt it. I mean, it's not bad, but I can definitely feel it. And the last mile, I started kind of feeling it pretty good. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop here. The, the thing is, is I was looking at gut hooks and at its gap, the water is 0.5. So it's a mile round trip just to get water. This water isn't near as far. And um, also another thing about this spot is it is super sunny here. And it's actually, I, I don't want to say warm, but it's very pleasant. You know what I mean? It's very, um, like all I have, I just have my down jacket on and just, um, my regular hiking shirt and stuff. So I haven't even, usually when I get to camp, I'm like throwing all my clothes on, but I'm perfectly fine. I'm actually kind of warm with my down jacket on. So man, that's really nice, especially considering how cold it's been lately. And so hopefully I the weather said it was going to get to 36 tonight, but it's usually a little bit colder up here. So I guess it's going to really, really drop big time. Last night, it got pretty cold, not freezing, but it got near it for sure. And yeah, so I'm not, I stopped a little early, but I mean, what's 0.8? So that leaves me 6.2 to Dick's Creek Gap tomorrow. And I already called um, White Blaze Shuttle, this girl, Michelle. She's super awesome. We used her, me and Bear Cord used her to when we got out of that rain the other day. <clears throat> so I called her. She's giving me a good deal, 20 bucks. Pick me up there and take me to Hiawassee. Um, so that's awesome. And I will try to get her in my video so y'all can, um, people who are planning to come out here. If you need a shuttle, she's pretty awesome. And she's definitely the cheapest I've found so far. So, yeah, I'm going to, um, I need to drink some water. I have dry mouth bad. So I'm going to sit right there and edit and eat and drink some water and some other things. And I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I'm going to end it for today. Let's see, I started at Blue Mountain Shelter and I went all the way down it and it's a steep down. Then I went up uh, Rocky Mountain, which is a nice climb and then climbed up Trey Mountain, which is a really nice climb. And then I ended up at Sassafras Gap. That's only 13 miles, but that's all I was planning to do today. That leaves me 6.2 to get to Dick's Creek Gap. I have a shuttle scheduled at 11, although I may end up texting her and tell her to pick me up at noon. Um, but we'll see. I'll do that in the morning. See, um, if I get up early, then I may not need to. And yeah, so it was a nice day. It actually got kind of sunny and I don't want to say warm but pleasant for a little bit for at least like three hours so that's awesome um yeah I guess January is almost over but February's just as cold if not colder and March isn't much better ah so it's gonna be cold cold and yeah, and it's not going to warm up for me. But anyways, um, enough of my problems. Yeah, so let me see. What else was I going to say? Man, I was going to say something, but I can't think of it right now. But anyways, um, it'll be nice to go into town and get um, 
have a warm room and be able to sleep. I just don't sleep well in the cold at all, man, because I haven't been sleeping that good at all the last few nights. But I just don't in the cold. So it'll be nice to get um, a couple nights. And I think, I'm, I think I'll probably zero considering my knee's been acting up and just give it a rest. Yeah, so 6.2 tomorrow and I'll be in Hiawassee and I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.